Uh, Sydney Powell, how are you? <laughs> I'm uh, in a tsunami of information coming in from patriotic Americans who are fed up with the corruption all over, including with our own CIA and FBI and DHS. Right. I, 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 I want to focus, job. though. I, wa- I want to focus, though, on the Dominion fo- voting machines. Where now we're yeah. having people say, experts say that the Dominion voting machines, uh, there's no fraud. And I played a piece at the top of the hour with uh, PBS, October 26th, where they did seven minutes of how this system can be penetrated. But even more than that, how the system is imperfect and they slap something on the end of September to try and improve it. Why are the media ignoring the Dominion voting machines or the system? Because it's going to blow up the whole election. It's going to blow up local elections. It's going to blow up congressional elections for some people because they can pick and choose who they want to win. I've got a firsthand witness now. In fact, I just uh, emailed you, you an affidavit from a witness that can now be used publicly. It's redacted in some places, but he was present for the creation of the system for the specific purpose of uh, falsifying election results for Hugo Chavez and then Madura. They exported it all over Latin America. It's the Smartmatic and Dominion system specifically built for doing this very thing, for changing the results of elections. He saw it done. He knows exactly how they do it. He explained how they do it. He's seen it work, and he realized when things were happening the way they were here, particularly when the states that suddenly went down, you know, they stopped counting the votes, that it's because the lead was so great for President Trump that they had to go in and do a separate reset on the machines to make it come out for Biden. And you have evidence to this effect, witnesses to this effect. I do indeed. All right. The fact, and I know you've been the fact that the ahead. voting machine displays a voting result that the voter intends and then prints out a paper ballot, which reflects that change, does not matter. It is the software that counts the digitized vote and reports the results. The software itself is the one that changes the information electronically to the result that the operator of the software and vote counting system intends to produce the counts. That's how it's done. So the software, the software itself configures the vote and voting result, changing the selection made by the voter. The software decides the result regardless of what the voter votes. It's shocking. And this system is in how many states, do you know? Uh, 30. 30 states. And it also says, yeah, he also says it's even worse than that because he says that the same software DNA is in every voting system in the country. And lucky me, my damn email's down. I can't even pull it up right now. Now, I'm concerned about these judges, particularly these 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 local trial state judges and all the media pressure to end this thing and Republicans now coming out and saying, you know, let's end this thing. What kind of form can you get this in front of where you're going to have a fair shake? Well, it's, I would imagine it's going into the uh, Georgia lawsuit tomorrow. It, I, I'll make it available for the people in Pennsylvania to add to their filing tomorrow. And uh, this is, not, I mean, I've got other witnesses contacting me, too. We're reporting it and creating the affidavits with them as fast as we possibly can. But I've got corroboration for this already. I want the another, audience to understand. insider. I want the audience to understand how hard you're working, how hard all these volunteer lawyers are working, that this sort of thing takes time, which is one reason why the media and the Democrats want you to stop, isn't it? Oh, yes. Everybody in their pet rock is trying to stop me from doing this, even people Mm -hmm. around the president. Oh, really? Well, that's that's unfortunate. But this Dominion voting machine, I mean, PBS raised concerned about it October 26th. I don't know of another news group out there that's since the election i mean pbs was raising concerns about this on some much smaller scale when they were basically just doing testing and so forth and these security experts came in and said "Uh, this is this is a very problematic system and and georgia just adopted it this year and then they the they had to they had to put a uh, patch on the system because they were having problems with the system and uh and it's as if uh, it's all of a sudden perfect with tens of millions of people using it that patch 
Mark, was probably the change in the software needed to make sure that Biden won. Mm -hmm. And people are going to listen to this. You know, the the, the beautiful people. You know, Sydney, you and Mark are nuts with your conspiracy theories and so forth. And you know what? They don't (laughs) study this stuff. They haven't looked into this stuff. It's not their name under penalty of perjury. They might have very well actually benefited from it in some way. There's no telling how many people we elected who bought this benefit for themselves in one fashion or another, or who got paid off by Dominion to have it put into their state. Mm-hmm. No telling. How many, how many states have investigated the Dominion voting system since the election? I'm not aware of any. No, I don't think so. Texas rejected it, but unfortunately, and thought they were doing the right thing. Well, they were by rejecting Dominion, but they may have problems within the software they got, because this witness says that the DNA of the tabulation capability and the vote change capability is in every system in the country, because they use or play off the Smartmatic software that was designed to do this. I mean, this is a huge problem, and the fact that our government has been warned repeatedly. Uh, Carolyn Maloney, the congresswoman from New York, I think, tried to tell people several years ago, even Klobuchar and and, uh, Elizabeth Warren complained about it, and now they're scrubbing the Internet of of their complaints and the articles that they were relying on to complain about it. I do about it. I do happen to have a copy of a study that Carolyn Maloney commissioned out of somebody in Seattle that said it was unreliable and dangerous and easily hacked. And I think if the president tweeted out a hack a, a hack of it at a, a hackathon or something, <laughs> some <big laughs> convention they have where people try to hack stuff, and Dominion wouldn't submit it for testing because it's made to be hacked. It's made to be controlled by in somebody fact, outside in fact, the system. Just to back up your point, Sidney Powell, I have in front of me a letter December 6, 2019, Signed by, it's a long letter, i got to get to the bottom of the damn thing. Because liberals, you know, they can't write in two letters. But Elizabeth Warren was one of them. Ron Wyden was another one. Uh, as I say, I don't have it all in front of me right now. And they were sending this uh, to Sami Manyamena and Tony Tamer. And these are HIG Capital LLC. And they're, they're concerned. They're concerned about, quote, three election technology vendors. This is the first paragraph. We are writing to request information, HIG Capital's investment in Heart InterCivic, Inc., one of three election technology vendors responsible for developing, manufacturing, maintaining the vast majority of voting machines and software in the U.S., and to request information about your firm structure. This letter goes on and on. They do not trust this software company. They do not trust this technology vendor company. And it's, it's, it goes on for almost 15 pages, and... All of a sudden, silence. You don't hear a thing from these three senators and one congressman. Isn't that amazing? That is just amazing. Yep. And I just want people to know that there used to be serious questions about these systems. This is a different system, the Dominion system, and they act like, you know, unfortunately you have to read National Review and the others that say, you can only get 10,000 votes out of Pennsylvania, you know, at the Supreme they're not even f- following all the activity that's going on on the ground, are they, Sidney Powell? No, they're not at all. And this would change millions of votes. In, votes. in fact, what they do is they run an algorithm against all the original votes that scrape votes from uh, Trump and give them to Biden in all kinds of places that you wouldn't even notice unless and until something went wrong. And what went wrong was that the uh, huge, the landslide for President Trump was so huge, they had to shut down the machines and go backfill votes. And that's why there were shutdowns. Any machine that was shut down that night of the election where they stopped counting are the very machines that were uh, re- redone or whatever, however they do it, to make the vote come out for Trump. And this guy, this, my witness here, Witness that happen in real time in Venezuela. He knows that's how it works. We are particularly concerned that secretive and trouble plague companies owned by private equity firms and responsible for manufacturing and maintaining companies owned by private equity firms, uh, voting machines, 
and other election administration equipment have long skimped on security in favor of convenience, leaving voting systems across the country prone to security problems. December 6, 2019, Elizabeth yep. Warren, 2019. Yep. Where the hell is she today? Right. And where the and hell the, is the, the press? The Democrats have used it against their own their own people, too. I have evidence that they used it to screw Bernie Sanders out of the California primary in 2016, that Hillary Clinton did that. Oh, and you know that the admiral, uh, Fort retired admiral, who's president of Dominion, is now on the transition team, the, <laughs> the, the fake transition team for the fake candidate Biden. For the fake office of the president. Here are the signatories. Elizabeth Warren, Amy Klobuchar, as you had mentioned, Ron Wyden, and a member of Congress by the name of Mark Pocan, P-O-C-A-N. And, and, the, and nobody even goes to them today. Nobody asks, and nobody asks them. And, and by the way, they wrote to one company after another. They wrote to that company I just mentioned, to another company called the McCarthy Group. They wrote to one company, one vendor after another after another with the same letter. Here's one to Staple Street Capital Group. They're very concerned about the funding of these companies. They're very concerned about the, about the security of these companies, that they have so much control over the vote. And now, don't say anything. Don't, no, don't say anything. And you're trying to bring it yeah. all to light through the process, through a lawsuit, and it's hurry up, hurry up. Well, what's the problem here? You, there's no, I'm so sick of listening to these hosts and so forth. You know what they do, Sidney Powell? They'll go to Philadelphia and put a, a microphone in the face of a commissioner who's a defendant. What do you think? Have you found any fraud? Now, there's no fraud here. There's no fraud here. He doesn't no, know or he's or, lying. Yeah, there's go two ahead. possibilities. Some election officials would not know that their machines have been done like this. Others will and will be complicit in it. That will be the hard part to sort out, but it won't be hard. It is not hard because I've already done it for the most part, figured out where the huge problems were, and it's all the swing states who shut down overnight. All those states would have gone for Trump, and the Electoral College, I mean, the legislatures need to affect the will of the people and certify those states as pure Trump wins every one of them and there are more too but definitely those what's going on here is shocking i think this this really does look at the dark underbelly of the system particularly these democrat strongholds and machines uh, cities and states you can see also sydney powell we have republicans that are going along you can see what's going on in georgia which is a disgrace uh, oh, yeah, the disgrace. Georgia system was rushed in at the last minute, and I have had a lawyer tell me that he has a client who knows that there were essentially um, Biden-type payoffs to family members of the Secretary of State and the governor. Right, no, you're making allegations um, just yeah. to protect the company here. I can't prove or disprove what you're saying. You're saying that. Right. I'm saying a lawyer told me that. A lawyer has a client okay. who told me that. All right, but but I'm just saying I have no independent knowledge of that. Right. Yes, we, All right. we have not confirmed that yet either. All right, well, I think the, the, the core issue here, which is that this Dominion company, they're not the only one, has had problems in the past, and some of these states and counties went ahead and, 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 uh, and bought their uh, systems. Uh, it's a Canadian company and bought their systems, despite the fact that they had some serious issues, and I mean, amazingly, PBS pointed it out uh, on October 26, three weeks ago, and now everybody is silent except you and the campaign. It's really a disgusting thing. All right, my friend, we're going to keep monitoring this, and I want to thank you. I know you're doing a lot of heavy lifting. I want to thank you very, very much. Well, I'm, I can't wait for you to read this affidavit because it's mind-blowing. <laughs> You know what? I can't wait for this. It was designed in Venezuela for this very purpose, for the purpose of corrupting elections, and then it was exported around the world by communist money. Or democratic socialists. You know, I, uh, my problem is, I can't, my email is all screwed up. I'm going to read it late tonight. I'll figure out a way to get it. Sydney, thank okay. you very, very much. Thank Make sure you. you lock your doors. <laughs> all right. Thanks. 